This video is a troubleshoot for um, the Xmon system, specifically in online four and three, the audio mix rooms. The same system is also installed in the uh, ADR and Foley uh, recording studios. So when you first come in uh, and start up the computer, you're gonna notice up here on top, you see this WS control here. What you want to do is wait for this to start up. And what we're waiting for is for this little symbol here to stop spinning. When that has stopped spinning, it has a connection. If there is an error, if it doesn't have connection, it will tell you that the WS control does not have connection to the board. The best way to uh, gain connection again is to go in then to the control panel. What you go is you click to the WS control here on top and you go to network setup. If you do not see that for some reason in your applications folder you also have the WS control application right here and if that's the case you're gonna have to double click on that and the same panel will come up. It will basically open up itself here. Okay. This is important here if you obviously know what you're doing. This desk ID is important to connect to the Avid uh, S6 board. And the Ethernet here needs to be set to Ethernet 2. If it's set to Wi-Fi or Ethernet 1 in this case, um, it is wrong. As you can see, Ethernet 2 should end in a two smaller numbers. As you see, the 32131 is our AVID Nexus system. And you, the Wi-Fi is a dynamically generated um, IP address. This is what you need to look for. What could also be an issue is if the board, the AVID S6 board, is completely shut off and you start up the computer, you might have to close, uh, shut down the computer and then uh, start up the board first, then start the computer up. What happens is the b board and the computer needs to communicate, get the assigned IP address, uh, and go from there. Let's say you have a successful connection and you see this up here. Your next step should be to highlight this Xmon right here. The Xmon should, the application should come up automatically. If you do not see it, or if it's shut off for some reason, uh, you'll also find the Xmon in the dock over here. If it's not there, you click on that, and up comes the Xmon. Here's the Xmon application. When you highlight the Xmon application, if you pay attention to your control surface now, your S6 control surface, you should see this. You basically see the numbers in the system. And if you click on monitoring, you should see this. So say you don't see this, then you have an issue with the Xmon. Uh, the main thing to check first is to go to the Xmon application. When you right click the Xmon application here, you need to make sure this is highlighted. Select MIDI port USB 2 to MIDI. If that is not checked off here, you cannot get a connection. My, my my advice here would be to close down the system, open it up again, and just make sure it checked off. The best way to test, test this is A, you need to make sure that the control room um, controls, in this case, are corresponding to the board. If you look at your Avid S6 board, if I click the dim here or the cut, I should see connection right there. If I move this, main up and down I should see connection there occasionally you may have lost connection to the Xmon box so this is more advanced setup so please see a an assistant or or one of the technicians because if you have lost connection to the Xmon box it has to be reset the best thing to do then is to shut down the Xmon software first shut down the Xmon box that means you turn the power off. 
when you've turned the power off, you turn it back on, you're going to notice that the Xmon goes into a mute state automatically. That means the red button is lit. You'll see the red LED will be lit. The next step you should take now when you see the red LED on the box itself when it's lit is to open up the Xmon application. And if you're in the room, you can actually hear that switching. It goes, the switch is on, and your mute should be off. So that's some things you can do to check. Make sure the Xmon is on. The second, um, if you have Ethernet connections with a board, there are many more things we may have to do, but this is a little advanced, so please see a technician. Um, and also please send an email detailing the room you're in and specifically what the issues are.